Linen Boards presents Retro Computing Using FPGAs Part 4 If you've gotten this far but your composite video looks messed up on the screen, let's take a look at why that is and what we got to do to fix it. The United States and Europe have two different standards for encoding television video signals. In the United States it's called NTSC and the joking name for it is never twice the same color. And in Europe, it's called PAL, or Phase Alternation by Line. The difference is, at least in part, due to the different AC power line standards in the United States and Europe. In the United States, 60 Hz is the power line frequency. In Europe, it's 50 Hz. And that's the same as the frame rate on NTSC versus PAL. The horizontal frequency is pretty close between NTSC and PAL. They're both about 15.7, 15.6. But the problem is the number of lines displayed per screen. In the United States, it's 525 lines. And in Europe, it's 625. This difference needs to be accounted for in the VHDL code to make uh, the display work. Let's take a look at the differences and what that means for the code. All of the changes happen inside the file uk101 textdisplay.vhd which is inside the TV, which is inside the components. You can see the PAL timing is very similar to the NTSC timing. 3200 clocks for PAL and 3175 for NTSC. The first change here is that horizontal timing change between PAL and NTSC. Again, very close in timing. The second change moves the display to the left up closer to the left edge, otherwise the result is more to the center of the screen. This change is probably the more critical change. It affects the number of lines that are displayed on the screen. This change vertically centers the screen data. Uh, this change also allows more lines to be fit on the screen by reducing the space between the lines. It may mess up graphics though. Finally, this is a change that we made and then unmade. I'm not quite sure if it needs to be there, or different or not. The end result on our display is stable as a rock video. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.